Hi, and welcome back to Scrap with Andy's Workshop. Um, this week's project, I'm doing another box. Um, a lady saw the keepsake box in it, and she wants one making uh, to keep her medicines in. So I'm going to do it a bit different. Um, it's going to have a, a lift off lid, but I'm still going to do some of them uh, roses that I did on the keepsake box because the middle name is Rose, so uh, I thought that'll be nice. So um, I've already uh, got some wood glued together, uh, put it through uh, my thicknesser planer. Uh, I've got it down to 15 mil now. So I'm just going to um, mark out the R flap joints at the ends and I'll cut a, I think it's a rabbit, round the top and the bottom so I can uh, just slot the uh, top and bottom in. But all the joints are going to be done on table saw anyway so uh, we, like I say I've, I've got cut these down a bit because they're, they're a bit too wide yet so I've still got that to do. Uh, but um, yeah, so I'll start marking out then we'll get the table saw set up and then we'll get all the joints cut out on there. Let's get started. Right, we will uh, mark on the end pieces, get it flush to the end. So just simple joints this time. I'll put a line. Yep. So we'll do that on all the ends. One end on. The same on this one. I've just sharpened my pencil so it's got a point on it so it marks it where I've got to go. So there's the case of setting the depth on table saw and just running them to make the joint. So um, then I need uh, that's the thickness I'm using for the top and the bottom because I've got plenty of that so it just it'll just slot in. Uh, I'll just get a, a ruler. and that will get done the same depth as that so uh, the top and bottom I'll just uh, slot in and everything will be flush so I'll just carry on finishing this one do, do the other end and then uh, the two sides so uh, next time you see me I'll have the table saw set up and ready to start uh, Cut in. See you in a mo. Right, <coughs> we'll cut the back uh, and front down to size. What we need, what did I say? It was Right, let's cut all them down to the same width. Now we'll set cut uh, the joints out. So 
Get my calipers. That's 7mm. Right, we'll pass it through and uh, see how it looks. So. Yeah, that's fine. Right. That's all them chopped down. Uh, we'll get some measurements now for the top and bottom. So I can get that lot chopped down as well while I've got the saw out and uh, it's just a case of uh, assembling it all together. So I'll go and find some uh, wood now for the top and bottom. Right, managed to find some 5mm ply we can use for it, uh, top and the bottom. So what are the measurements? 205. Right, so if I rip them down to that first. fit in. Once that's all clamped up and glued together uh, it'll be uh, all right once it's sanded down and everything. So right next stage we'll just get put the saw back get tidied up and then we'll uh, glue it all together. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, what I'll do is just go over the insides with the orbital. Uh, I've got 80 grit on at the minute. So we'll just go over with that and give it a go. It come flying off. <laughs> oh, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, I've come to press it on tight enough. No, it's lost its uh, lost its stickiness. I think that one has. Try a different one. Try that one. We'll see how that one goes. that we 
we'll just give the insides a quick uh, going over to the top and bottom. Right. We will uh, start putting it together. Right. We've tried it dry, everything fits together. What I've got, I've got one of these uh, Stanley strap clamps the for the boxes. So we're going to use that. So I'll get some glue on here now. And uh, let me get a little a brush. And we'll get it all clamped up, get the lid in the bottom on, and just let it go off overnight. Oops. Together anyway, it has just it up, check for squareness. Boom, boom, boom. Four hundred and nearly four hundred and eight. Four hundred. Turn it back over. Get the insides white. The insides are going to be lined anyway, so I'm not uh, too fussed. Get most of the glue out. And when I do come to cut the boxing off with the lid, whatever goose, uh, glue is squeezed out, I'll. Uh, just get it cut off with a chisel. Well, so right, we'll put the lid on there, and we'll leave that overnight to go off. Right, what we'll do? I'll put one of my bricks on top of there to hold it down, and uh, we shall let it all go off. So, next time you see it, it should be all set. Right, it's been left overnight, so uh, I'll just take the bricks off, put them down under the saw. Oh, there 
in the clamp off. Get it off. That's it. <laughs> oh, uh, here's a little tap. It's stuck with glue. That's it. That one's free. That's it. That's not bad at all. Like I say, um, the bottom I'm going to put a piece of felt over, straight over, so uh, it's going to get painted anyway. It is. Um, she wants it a grey colour, the lady does. So, what I'm going to do now is um, get, it, oh, get it all sanded down, and then uh, we'll set, I'll set my uh, small circular saw up, and uh, we'll cut the lid off. So, I'll get it all uh, sanded down now. Right, I've got to uh, use my orbital. I've got a uh, um, 80 grit uh, sanding disc on it, so uh, we'll go over with that first, and then uh, one twenty, two forty. So here it is. Finish off doing all that, and then we'll uh, put down the grits. And uh, next time I come back to it, it uh, should be all sanded down. Right, we've got it <coughs> all sanded down, and uh, I did it down to 240. So I've set my small circular saw up because um, the blade's a bit thinner than me big circular saw so I managed to find a wedge so once I've uh, cut um, I can put it, once I've cut through I can put a piece of uh, this in so it keeps it together while well, I cut out all the four sides so uh, I've set the blade height to about uh, 20 mil because the wood's 15 so should be enough to get through it Too bad at all. So it's not too much glue, glue squeeze out, squeeze out inside either. So uh, right, we'll get this whilst we're away. We'll just tidy this up and uh, we'll carry on. Right, I've just uh, been sanding this down a bit. So to get it all nice and. Smooth. I want to. Uh, 
fits uh, pretty good. So I've tried it the other way around as well. So yeah, so it's not lovely and square. So right, what we're going I'm going to do, I'm going to make some inserts. So it'll leave a little uh, about 10 mil over. Then we'll just round the tops over. So what it'll do is just shove on, we will pull off, shove on. So that's all I'm going to do for that. So um, uh, I didn't know if to use this uh, five mil ply. So it'll stick up like that, round off. But do it the full length. I'll probably round over the tops of these, and I've got to make some uh, roses to go on top as well. So uh, we'll uh, set um, one at saws up just to cut some. Uh, inserts now to go in so that's what I'll do right set so me a uh, small saw back up again um, I've set it at 120 I'm hoping to get them all out of this so uh, we shall see I've got some more of this uh, ply anyway so uh, Well, I'll get my mark to mark them up first, then get my sand down, and uh, we'll get installing them inside the box. So, right, we'll get tidied up again. Right, mark one up. So, I'll just set my cross cut up, get that uh, chopped down, and uh, we'll see. If uh, it fits in. So we'll see if we can get a measurement for the top, uh, uh, for the ends. So I'll try and get this as tight as I can so it'll push the sides. Uh, together. Let's see how we go. Just square it up. Can't find my pencil bar now. There it is. Perfect. That's it. All right, we'll get the other one cut out of that. We'll get the cross cut away now, and uh, get these. Uh, I'm sanding down, and then we'll uh, get them glued in. All right. What we'll do is uh, we'll get the clamped in now. Get some glue on and. Uh, Clamped in. Get it in. What I've got is some of these. So I'm going to put one on and clamp it so it. Uh,
pulls them in. Let's get a rag. Wipe the excess uh, glue off. the other one exactly the same then we'll just let that all go off and uh, we'll do the two ends I'll either do them later on tonight or I'll do them it till tomorrow so yeah I'll just do the other side now and then we'll leave it to go off right as you can see I've got all the inserts in now, so I've started rubbing them down, rounding them over, rounding the corners over. I have, so nice to touch. So, yeah, let's try the lid. on pretty smooth but what I might do is just uh, sand down inside a bit more because once I put uh, the lacquer on or varnish whichever, whichever I'm doing uh, it still might be a bit tight so Mind. Uh, what I've got is uh, a Wax oscillating tool. What I've got, so uh, I put a, a sanding disc on. I think this is a um, uh, eighty grit disc uh, pad on so uh, we'll just sand the inside of that so <coughs> What I'm thinking of doing is uh, I'll do a decorative uh, around the top. Uh, I don't know yet um, what to do on it. Don't know what shape to have. I'll have to have a look, see what uh, router bits I've got. And uh, then I've just got make a handle. So you can just. Uh, lift it off and on so yes so I'm going to sort through my router bits now and we'll uh, go around the top right I've sanded all the box down now what I've got I found this out of some handles so get the centre put that on put two part epoxy on get that down and all this lot then and get um, painted in a grey. I've the sunroom for the lid, so this is just going to get uh, lacquered. This bit, this will all get uh, grey, same as this. That'll get lacquered inside. Uh, glue that on. While that's setting, I'll go and see if I can get uh, mix some grey up and get that painted. And I'll find out some thin strips of wood. I'll get them sanded down, uh, cut out for the leaf shape on them. And I don't know if to do one rose there, one rose there, 
uh, coming down here. I don't know. I don't know. Or like I say, a rose here, rose there. Uh, I don't know yet how to do it, but uh, we'll get this what's to then we'll sort the rows out or roses out. So I just want a bit of this epoxy resin. This is from uh, Pound uh, Land. In the UK, pound shop, but it's uh, it's pretty good. I've had never any problems with it, so uh, mix that up. Some on there. Right, we've set this up. Oh, so we can uh, get it where we want well, it should be alright I think I pressed it down there so I'll let that go off I'll go and uh, find some um, grey I think I've got some somewhere and then uh, I shall come back and uh, we'll start uh, painting it so see you in a minute and then uh, it'll get a coat of lacquer on it will Once it's had a coat of lacquer on as well. It'll uh, should be alright. So I'll just carry on with this. It's all good filming all this. <laughs> Bit boring painting is so uh, next time you see it should be all painted up. Right, I've got finished uh, painting all the box. What I'm going to do now is make some uh, small roses. Um, I didn't show you how I did it last time, but I thought I'll show you how I do it. All I get is a load of shavings, plain, plain a piece of wood down. Just get loads and loads, that's how I do it. Start with, I cut out just a little square one, that's where I start for the base. I get a rolled up piece, as you can see, for the centre, glue gun. Stick it down. That's the start. That's how I start. Um, some people soak them, boil them a bit just to soften them up. But uh, I just uh, do them as they are. 
find a piece just chop it down cut it to how high I want it size of petal to start with and just uh, do an oval oval shape sort of type thing that's all I do like that you can round it off a bit so next thing then is to start uh, gluing them on it's a bit too tall so that's where I started some more the only thing is uh, you just got to watch your fingers being as it's this small <laughs> Because, uh, like I say, the glue comes out really, really hot, and you've just got to be that a bit careful. You don't burn yourself. But uh, you stowed it onto it a bit. Till it sets a bit. Nope, I didn't quite catch it that time. Try another piece. There we go. I've got some already cut, so uh, just need to put enough glue on. Better. Try this time. Ouch! That was hot. I felt that bit. <laughs> like I said. It uh, you gotta be careful. You get a bit too hot with it. It can be a bit uh, painful. It can. Just trim that bit down a bit. There you see. That bit's on there, oops, bit fiddly, then you just keep working round, working round, and once you've got enough centre, you start making your petals go a bit further down, and uh, yes, see how many it looks like um, you want on, and just carry on, till it looks uh, like you've got a little rose, so I'll do a couple more. So I've got some cut out ready a bit. Now you can start seeing the shape coming then now. So you just keep going round and start going down. So that's how I do them. So um, I'll leave it and I'll switch it. I'll switch off and then I'll put it back on and just show you how it looks when I've finished it. There we go. That's what it uh, turned out like. So, all I have to do is just tidy the bottom up and then that gets glued on to the box. So, I'll do a few more and then we'll decide how many we're putting on and everything so I'll carry on with that there what I've done is uh, I've just cut some petal shapes out of uh, some thin pieces of wood I got and uh, I've just glued them all on so next thing to do now is to uh, just give it all a good lacquering so that's what I'm going to do Well, uh, that's another project finished. I've uh, there it is. I've lacquered it three times, uh, de nibbed it after each one, just lifts off, lacquered the inside lightly and sanded it down a bit. 
Same as with the bottom, I've lined the bottom with some felt I had. Put some little square felt pad feet on it so it don't rub. So it's all been sanded down again. Where the roses are they've turned out. All lacquered up. So they go stiff when you've lacquered them as well so it mm. makes them a bit more solider. So uh, Yes, I hope she likes it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you on the next project. Bye for now.